Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to design foundations of steel structure projects with a Aesthetica software into tutorial parts. In the first tutorial, that is tutorial part one, we will cover four base points uh, from these four base points. The first point is that uh, the base plates are designed. Let's change it to a uh, 3D uh, concrete block. From this, this is a base plate that uh, we are going to uh, design. And from the base plate design, uh, we are going to design the thickness and uh, the other uh, dimension for the base plate. The second base point is that the designs of the anchor bolt. So uh, let's change back to uh, the detailing. From this, all the yellow lines are uh, the anchor bolts. In the anchor bolt design, we are going to design the diameter of the bolt, total number of bolts, and the vertical uh, depth of uh, the bolt or the total uh, length of uh, the bolt, uh, including that of uh, hook lengths. Yes. The third basic point is that designs of the welding thickness. So uh, let's show it. Another part that is the connection parts of this software. So this is what the welding thickness. So we are going to uh, design this thickness further. The last and the most important point here in this uh, tutorial is that the design is of uh, concrete pedestal and that of plate footing. So let's show it. From this, uh, let's turn to uh, the concrete uh, pedestal. This is a concrete spread footing, that is the white part that means. And this part is uh, a concrete uh, pedestal that is below the uh, base plate. Tutorial part two is all about complete reinforcement detailing. Let's turn to uh, reinforcement detailing first. So in tutorial part two, uh, we are going to uh, detail all reinforcements uh, looks like this. That is to the uh, spread footing and uh, the pedestal, that is the main reinforcement. That may be a supplementary reinforcement to the anchor bolt around the pedestal and the uh, tie uh, reinforcement bars for the shears. In tutorial part two, we will see all these points. Watch up to the end. Now it's a time for uh, subscribe my channel, like this video and write your feeling and caution on the comment section. Thank you. Let's start today's tutorial. Before starting today's tutorial, let's stay loosely basic point. The first point is that all the uh, base reaction for uh, this steel structure footing design is uh, taken from uh, this uh, model from uh, CSI tab software. And the other uh, basic part is that uh, from uh, Ideastica software, all of you must know uh, these two parts, that is the connection part and that of uh, the detail part. So uh, in the connection part, we are going to design the base plate and that of uh, the anchor bolts plus that of a uh, plain concrete block. And in the detail part, uh, we are going to uh, design all the reinforcement concrete block plus uh, that of all the uh, reinforcement uh, details. So let's start to that tutorial again. Go to uh, the connection parts here. From this uh, design templates, uh, let's select this one. Uh, that is uh, with a total number of uh, anchor bolts. It is because the I section for uh, the superstructure that is above uh, the foundation is so huge. That is I750. So uh, let's use this. After that, uh, we are going to uh, design it further. From this, uh, let's give it a name. So uh, let's make it a base plate. Base plate uh, design, yes. Base plate design one. After that, you can add uh, some descriptions here, yes. Design code, uh, you can use any uh, building code of standard uh, based on your uh, local code standard, but in our case, let's use uh, IRA code standard. Let's proceed to define all the materials. So uh, still great, uh, let's edit it. As I've selected uh, building code standard, so uh, the default material is coming uh, like this. For steel grade, you can use uh, S355 or S275 uh, at the one. So uh, let's use uh, the default as it is. And the bolt assembly, uh, let's change it. So uh, from this, uh, let's use uh, bolt assembly of 8.8 .8 with, let's use uh, 30 M30, yes, make it okay. After that, uh, the weld grade, let's use uh, the default as it is. Concrete grade, uh, let's edit it. So you can use CT25 or uh, CSRT. So uh, let's use the default as it is. Make it okay. After that, you have to create a selected design. Yes. So uh, all the uh, template is uh, coming uh, like this. From the default, let's go to change the member. Uh, the member is the I section. Uh, that is from the uh, superstructure. So uh, let's change it. This is because uh, from the uh, analysis in the uh, ETOPS output, it's not. Uh, H frame, so it's uh, I section, and we're going to uh, change the dimension. Let's uh, go to uh, change this property. Yes, go to here. 
from uh, my analysis output uh, my section uh, from the above that is the superstructure is i750 by uh, 196 i'm going to uh, select this yes make it okay look everything is uh, changed uh, like this next let's go to uh, define the load effect from the uh, base reaction so i uh, click a uh, load effect here from this uh, the vertical load that is uh, 400 from uh, the base reaction and shear force in the way uh, let's make it zero shear force in the direction let's uh, make it zero again mx that is moment in x uh, let's use uh Kioni, uh, that is uh, from the base reaction that is minus Kioni, yes minus Kioni. so uh, after defining all this uh, property uh, let's go to uh, design the base plate and that of uh, the anchor bolts so uh, to do this let's go to uh, the operation here from this uh the base plate uh, parameter is coming like this so uh, the base plate thickness for initial uh, design let's use uh, 40 uh, millimeter base plate thickness and that of the base plate uh, offset let's change uh, it to uh, plan yes let's change it to uh, plan look this is uh, the top view the base plate the base plate offset in millimeter that's 130 only the default that means this is from this point to this point and uh, this point to uh, this point let's increase it so uh, let's use 150 for uh, initial design and that of the first bolt distance in millimeter so uh, let's leave it the voltage distance that in millimeter that means from uh, this point to this point the anchor length is, that is the total depth of uh, the anchor and that of the block top offset that is uh, the uh, offsets of uh, this block this concrete block that mean from uh, the center point so let's use uh, 1000 uh, millimeter i will tell you uh, the reason what i'm going to uh, use this number and we can uh, edit it uh, further yes so uh, let's use uh, 1000 uh, millimeter again so uh, this is what the concrete block looks like i'm going to use a larger number to uh, the concrete block uh, offset both in top and side this is because uh, later in the uh, the uh, detail part we are going to uh, cut some parts to consider it as a split footing and that of uh, the pedestal so uh, let's go to uh, the weld part but we cannot uh, edit something here so uh, to solve this problem let's go to the operation again so right click here so you have to uh, explode here so uh, after that you can edit uh, any data again so uh, the base plate let's leave it uh, as it is and let's go to uh, the anchor one from the uh, anchor one let's uh, go to use uh, anchoring lengths that is the depth of uh, the anchor let's use uh, 900 millimeter yes the anchor type you can use uh, straight or you can use the washer plate with circle look at at the end and you can use also uh, the uh, hook yes let's use uh, the default uh, for uh, the uh, hook uh, length so uh, after that let's proceed to the weld so uh, the weld thickness at the flange and the web uh, both uh, let's use a six uh, millimeter thick yes let's increase it to six and the foundation block uh, for the concrete grade uh, let's use the default this is because we are going to uh, define it uh, before so uh, the offset the offset is also uh, the default that we are going to uh, define before and that of uh, the divs uh, let's use uh, two uh, thousand five hundred uh, millimeter divs uh, this is because uh, we are going to cut some parts again i will show it later yes it looks like this the shift force uh, transfer uh, mechanism let's use the anchors here you can uh, stand off uh, that means uh, the point around this you can use uh, a gap or you can use a mortar joint yes. after this uh, let's go to design or let's go to analysis uh, or move it before proceeding to the analysis part i miss one basic point so uh, let's change it to top view and i will tell it again so uh, let's change it make it uh, top view so look the arrangements of uh, the anchor bolt uh, before that uh, let's increase uh, that of uh, the uh, base plate at clearance so uh, let's make it 200 uh, mm the offset distance that means yes let's change it and uh, that of uh, the left uh, let's make it uh, 100 uh, millimeter again that is actually good uh, let's change it to uh, 150 yes 150 millimeters now it's good 
After that, uh, let's go to uh, tell you some basic point for the arrangements of uh, that of uh, the anchor bolt. Uh, this is let's increase uh, some uh, bolts around this point. So uh, let's go to uh, make uh, let's make it uh, zero. This is because uh, to make it uh, around uh, the center, you can uh, rearrange all these uh, anchor bolt uh, location. By changing all these uh, numbers, yes, by changing all these numbers, you can rearrange it. After that, uh, let's proceed to the analysis. Let's go to analyze uh, the model. So uh, let's go to uh, the check menu here. From this, uh, make it uh, calculate. That means analyze uh, this uh, data. All the analysis output data uh, looks like this. So uh, the plate is uh, good and that of the anchor is failed. So uh, the weld is good again and that of the concrete block is good. So uh, at the anchor is failed. Uh, we are going to uh, go back to uh, that of the idea static detail part. After that, uh, we are going to add some supplementary uh, reinforcements around the anchors and uh, we are going to divide this uh, concrete block to uh, that of pedestal and a spread footing that uh, looks like uh, this model that mean so uh, let's go to do it to transfer all this data in the detail uh, part of idea statica that means the assigned force and that of the plate geometry plus the anchor position the concrete geometry and all the uh, analysis uh, result let's go to uh, the rc checks here let's save our model as uh, idea file that is an idea detail so uh, let's use uh, this name Yes, uh, let's change it. Let's use this name. Footing with pedestal and a uh, base plate uh, design for tutorial part. So make it save. Look it, idea static uh, detail part is opened uh, automatically uh, by including all uh, that data. That is all the assigned force and that of uh, the anchor position, the plate geometry and so on. Uh, let's go to further design uh, this uh, as uh, idea static detail. Let's go to model entry. Uh, from this, uh, we are going to use a negative volume. Add around this, uh, this is because uh, to uh, make our uh, concrete pedestal that looks like a column. So uh, from this, let's select a negative volume. Our negative volume is uh, coming like this uh, to make our pedestal and uh, that of the spread footing. So uh, from this, uh, let's edit our negative volume. So uh, from this, let's change uh, the position first. So uh, that's from this, the surface and the edge. So uh, let's change the edge as uh, edge 3. Yes, edge 3. We cannot change uh, this edge. You have to uh, only change uh, the surface. So let's make a uh, surface 4 around this. That means so uh, let's show it again. This is what our uh, negative volume. So uh, the dimension is not good. Look at uh, the uh, dimensions of the negative volume is less than that of the concrete volume. So I have to increase uh, the uh, width of uh, the uh, negative volume here. So uh, that width is, let's make it uh, four meter. It's uh, greater than that of uh, the concrete block. So it's good. Uh, after that, we are going to uh, define the depth for uh, that of the negative volume. So uh, the total depth of the concrete I have used is 2.5, yes, uh, as I told you uh, before. After uh, using 2.5 uh, concrete uh, depths, we are going to use uh, the footing, as uh, that means the split footing part as uh, 0.7 for initial design. From here, uh, the total depth is uh, 2.5. So uh, the negative volume must be uh, that of the part of uh, the pedestal. So uh, let's use 1.7 uh, depth of uh, negative volume. Let's make it 1.8. Yeah, 1.8. After that, the depth of uh, the split footing is uh, 2.5 the total depth that mean minus that of uh, 1.8 that is the uh, depth of uh, negative volume or that of uh, the uh, concrete pedestal yeah and uh, the base point is at z height yes the height means uh, this height yes this length that mean so uh, let's use uh, 0.7 yeah let's use uh, 0.7 look it from this to this so uh, let's position it yeah let's position it Let's left it to uh, this one. So uh, let's make it uh, position uh, in the direction. We have uh, make it minus 0 0.7. That is equal to uh, that of the height. Yes. So let's shift it. Lock it. I'm going to uh, shift it uh, toward this uh, to make it as concrete uh, pedestal. After defining all this data, we're going to uh, copy uh, this negative volume. 
to uh, the other surface. So uh, let's make it, or let's uh, make it copy here. Yes, uh, from this, I'm going to only change the surface. Yes, let's change it to uh, surface three. Yeah, it's uh, coming around this. Yeah, let's uh, make it copy again. After that, uh, let's change to uh, the other surface, that is surface two. Look, it's, it's changed around this. And after that, let's copy it. Yeah, let's change it to uh, surface one. Yeah, come uh, like this. After defining all this uh, surface in the uh, four uh, direction, let's go to cut uh, to get our uh, concrete peristyle. Yeah? To do this, let's go to the operation menu here. After that, uh, make it cut. Yeah. So uh, the cut is uh, coming like this. Uh, look at so uh, CB1, that is the concrete block in total, is cut by uh, that of NV1. Yeah. Let us show it in 3D. Look it. Yes. Some parts of uh, the pedestal in that of uh, the concrete uh, spread footing is formed like this. After that, uh, let's copy it again. So uh, let's uh, cut CB1 by uh, NV2. Yeah. Let's show it again. Let's show it again. What has happened? So look it. Yes. Let's uh, copy it again. Cut, sorry. Yeah. Let's uh, cut by it NV3. Yeah. Let's show it. So uh, our concrete pedestal is uh, in the way of forming. So let's add uh, some cut again. Cut four, yeah. It's uh, CB1 is cut by uh, NV4. So uh, our concrete uh, pedestal looks uh, like this, yeah. Let's make it concrete block, yeah. So all the uh, concrete uh, pedestal and uh, all the concrete pedestal in that of the uh, spread footing is uh, formed uh, like this. So uh, in the next uh, tutorial part, we will see all the uh, detailing parts. Let's show it. We will do uh, this detailing uh, together. Yes, this detailing together for uh, both the uh, concrete uh, pedestal around this, plus the table and the uh, supplemental reinforcement around the anchor bolts and that of uh, reinforcement for the uh, spread footing. Thank you, goodbye. Uh, don't uh, forget to uh, subscribe, like this video, and share it to others. Have a nice time. See you there.